Day one of my Bieber campaign, create a video and start a mass Twitter campaign. Leading up to the 15th, I want you guys to all tweet them at 7 p.m. with my video, How to Get Justin Bieber on Noka Talks. The video I made for Justin ended up on the news three days later. First on Fox 8, and then WGNO. 17 year old Jack Bedrosian is a tweeting machine. So I have been tweeting Justin Bieber constantly, 24 seven. I send him this video link right here with this hashtag, at Justin Bieber. She's tweeting with a purpose. This Justin Bieber super fan wants the Biebs to come to her school, Noka. After days of tweeting and no response, it was time to take action. For two days straight, I stopped outside Justin's hotel, hoping he would come down for an interview. Hi, I'm Jack Pedrosian, and we're over here right now at the Windsor Court Hotel, where allegedly Justin Bieber is staying. We're still going strong on the Twitter and YouTube campaign, which you can find on youtube.com slash NokaTube. We're here right now at the Windsor Court Hotel in the CVD in New Orleans, and right up there where the curtain's blowing, we see Justin Bieber. We've caught a sighting of him. We got him on camera. We know he's here. We're just waiting until he comes outside. How long have you guys been standing out here waiting for Justin? Um, well, we've been standing here since like 10 something this morning. We've just been walking around. And then she came out yesterday, actually. Um, we had work, unfortunately. But yeah. And any luck with Justin? No luck with Justin, but his staff has been coming out here, walking around, taking pictures, and talking to us. So hopefully he comes out. That day, we caught up with Dan Cantor, Justin Bieber's guitarist outside of the hotel. I'm a student here at New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. So we are all young high school artists trying to make it like you have. So can you give us some advice? Hmm. Well, I worked really hard for a long time, but I was also very lucky. Um, so I was in the right place at the right time. So I you know, worked really hard to get the skills so that when I did happen, I was ready for it, but um, just persistency and, uh, you know, never giving up. And as my boss says, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> we like that Wise one. words from Justin Bieber. <laughs> so how long have you been playing the guitar? Have you always been doing this? Sure. I've been playing guitar for about 15 years. I've played piano and drums before, but um, yes, I've always been a musician and I love uh, playing for Justin. It's a great time. I love his show. It's not just, the, you know, the band. We have the dancers and lighting and video and trap doors and I love you know all the theatrics behind it. And how's it been being on tour and going out every night? I know you were just in Dallas and now yes. you're here in New Orleans. Well I've been traveling with Justin for four years now so it's quite familiar <laughs> even though it's not normal but I love traveling. I love going to new places and trying different food and meeting different people and especially playing shows every night so no complaints about traveling. At 8 o'clock I headed over to LA Motion to take a master class with some of Justin Bieber's background dancers. Afterwards, I got a chance to talk to them. How did you get your start on the tour? Um, I auditioned along with probably about 600 other females and uh, they narrowed it down to six. The auditions usually last all day. We were there from the morning till night. With them? Oh, it's, it's great. It's, um, it's awesome to work for a Canadian artist. I mean, it was a huge dream of mine moving to LA to dance for Justin, and I'm very happy that it has come true. So far, it's been a great uh, and exhausting experience. Um, we got done with all our rehearsals around June, July. So right now, we're just you know doing the show, running the show. Um, right now, the dancers come out, uh, mainly focus on just staying in shape. Did you know that you were going to be on a big tour like this one, and know that you were going to do this? Um, I would. I was kind of hoping that was one of my goals for the new year. Um, definitely. Hi, I'm Jack Pajerosi, and with Noka Talks. It's about 11 o'clock here in the CBD and Justin Bieber fans are already starting to gather. Around 11 o'clock each morning he tweets a good morning message or something on Twitter and we're hoping that comes soon along with a visit from Justin Bieber. I know these girls have been here a little bit waiting for him, been stalking around, we've seen a couple others and we're just hoping he comes down, gives us an interview and gives all the fans a photo. But for right now we see that he's upstairs in his room of the Windsor Court Hotel with his door open and the curtain blowing so hopefully that's a good sign. We'll have the latest updates for you right here in the CBD. I'm Jack Pedrosian for Noka Talks. After hours of waiting, JB's tour bus finally pulled up to the hotel and inside was Scrappy, Justin Bieber's stage manager. Tell us a little bit about the tour. What can we look forward to tonight? 
Uh, the tour's got lots of surprises, lots of uh, cool it, new state-of-the-art kind of things, stuff that was built specifically for Justin for this tour, uh, some set pieces that you've never seen before, some lights, designs that you've never seen before. It's very cool stuff. Well, we're really excited. And you said you went to a conservatory similar to NOCA? I went to actually Full Sail, uh, Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida. I went for audio engineering, and uh, I've since moved on and done other stuff as far as production and stuff like that. And how'd you get your start? Uh, I started uh, at school and then I left there and, and did a tour. I was production manager and front of house engineer for a hip hop tour probably almost 13 years ago now. And I just kind of rolled downhill ever since then. And how'd you get to meet Justin Bieber and be on tour with him? I actually knew, Sco I worked with Scooter before okay. he signed Justin. I was working with this other artist, Asher Roth, doing some recording. And so I knew Justin right when he signed him when he was a little 14 year old kid. And uh, now I've got to watch him become the biggest thing in the world now. So it's and so nice. it's great seeing him. Do you kind of act as a mentor on tour? Of course, we all do. We all play our part to kind of be a good influence to him because he's still a kid. So we try and, uh, you know, sh show him the right things to do in life. So he's pretty good about it, though. So it's nice. About 30 minutes later, Justin Bieber hopped on the bus and off to the arena. Today is the last and final day of our eight-day Twitter Justin Bieber campaign. At this moment, we haven't gotten Justin Bieber, but we've got Dan Cantor. We've got to learn some of the dance moves from the dancers and take classes with them and meet some of the fans that have come long distances just to meet Justin Bieber. So I want to thank you guys so much for helping me out with my campaign, for tweeting me, and for those followers that have dropped me for all my Bieber blasts, it's over. You can follow me again. But a big thank you. This has been a wonderful journey. I've enjoyed every moment of it, and I can't wait to see the Biebs tonight in concert.